Okay, in this video I want to do uh, some more uh, graph, graph transformations and basically we're going to be putting everything together. So in some of the other videos I did horizontal and vertical stretching, compressing, shifting, reflections about the x and y axis. So in this problem what I'm going to do is actually use those ideas on these two problems. Maybe I'll get through both of them in this video. If not, I'll do uh, the second one here, just a, a different one. So for this first one here, y equals absolute, or excuse me, negative two times the absolute value of x over three plus one. Basically, what I'm going to do is I, when I do these, the way I think about them is I kind of graph them in pieces. You know, so you want to kind of recognize the basic graph that we're using here. The thing that sticks out to me is the absolute value. And if you'll re recall, the absolute value kind of looks like a V. Um, if we plug in a few points, we'll get 1, 1. Um, maybe I'll plug in another one, say 3, 3. Likewise, on the left side, you're at negative 1, 1. And up here at negative 3, 3. Okay, so that, again, that's just my graph absolute value of x. What I want to graph next is, I kind of start, I work inside out. So next I'm going to graph absolute value of x over 3, or equivalently, um, that would be the same thing as 1 third x. Okay, so, sorry for my little cruddy x and y axis. Um, remember, if you multiply on the inside, if the number is between 0 and 1, it actually stretches it. So this 1 third is actually going to stretch our graph out by a factor of 3. Okay, so um, instead of being at 1, 1, notice now if you plug 3 in, you'll get 3 over 3, you'll get 1 out. Okay, so again, originally it says, to attain a height of 1, I had to go 1 unit out. Again, I'm stretching it by a factor of 3, so now I'm going to have to go 3 units out to achieve that same height of 1 unit. Maybe we'll put a point on the other side as well. So here's negative 3, comma 1. <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to do is, based on this graph, um, so this is kind of, I guess you can think about this as being the second step. Um, next what I'm going to do is graph the negative 2. I'm going to graph negative 2 times the absolute value of x over 3. Okay, so... We'll have to do a couple things on this one. Remember, a negative out front flips your graph about the x-axis. So my graph is going to be somewhere down here, okay, with its little v-shape. And remember, the 2 has the effect of multiplying the y-coordinates. So it's going to stretch it vertically, but it's also going to flip it about the x-axis. So maybe let's pick on a point here. If you think about this original point, 3, 1, well, if you flip it, it would be at 3, 1 negative 1, but again we have to multiply the y coordinates basically by negative 2, which is why again it's flipping in the first place. So our 3 comma 1 point is going to get moved down to 3 comma negative 2. And again, since the graph is symmetric about the y-axis, you can think about it the same way. Our negative 3 comma 1 point, if you multiply the y coordinate by negative 2, that's what you're doing, it's now going to flip it so that it, the graph is downstairs as well. So there's uh, negative 3 comma negative 2, here's the point 3 comma 2, and again that goes with the graph of negative 2 times the absolute value of x over 3. Well we're almost there, the only thing we have left to do is tag on our plus 1, so remember, if you throw on a plus 1, that simply has the effect of moving your graph up one unit. So let me erase my original one here. And now we'll do the final graph of negative 2 times the absolute value of x over 3 
plus one. Let me erase this bottom one as well. Okay, so remember all the plus one, all that's going to do, it's going to take this original graph we have here on the right hand side and simply move it up one unit. So the top of the, the uh, function was there at zero, zero. So if you move that up one unit, that's simply going to be sitting at the point zero comma one. Negative three, negative two, if you move that up one unit, it's now going to be sitting at negative three comma negative one. Likewise, three, two is now going to be sitting at the point, whoops, this should be three, negative two over there, obviously. Um, so now instead of being at negative two, it will be at three comma negative one. And again, we play connect the dots. The shape stays the same. Um, we just move the graph up one unit. So, and there would now be our final graph, negative two times the absolute value of x over three plus one. Okay, so, you know, a few different things. Um, I'm kind of definitely going through every step. I think if you have some experience, you can do these almost, you can go from the first to the last. You know, I'm basically doing this in my head. I think the absolute value of x, well, the three is going to take my v and stretch it out further. The negative two is then going to flip it upside down so that I know I basically get a graph like that, um, an upside down V, and then the plus one is simply gonna move my graph up one unit. So I know it would have some sort of shape roughly like that. Um, all right, well, obviously, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do the other one in this video, but uh, stick around and, or look close, it should be uh, nearby. Feel free to visit my website, they should be right next to each other, along with the other general graph transformation information.